Yo, what's going on everybody? Need for Beans over here. So, a lot of people requested me to do a PC setup video. So in this video, I'll be going over my current build and also showing you guys two more awesome Fortnite 240Hz NFPS builds um, for cheap. So one of them is going to be under $1,000 and another one is going to be under 1.5k and also there's going to be a budget $780 build. So first of all, my current build is the i9-9900K processor. Uh, this is the cooler I have, the IQ H150. This is the motherboard, the Prime Z390A. This is the RAM. This is a 16 gigabyte RAM, so two 8 gig sticks. Or sorry, two 16 gig sticks. A DDR4, 4000 megahertz memory. So that is really important, the speed here of the RAM. Uh, so my my SSD is uh, M.2 970 EVO, RTX 2070 Super. This is my case, a really old case, just a fractal design, just a full tower. Uh, Corsair RM1000, this is a overkill for this setup, but this one, this is one I had for uh, from a, a while back. And then I have the BenQ XL 2546. 24 and a half inch, 240 hertz monitor. Now this is my setup. And the reason why it's like so expensive is because a lot of these parts I had beforehand. So I bought the CPU a while back and the IQ I had and the motherboard and the RAM, it was actually on a deal. It wasn't that expensive as, as much as it says here. And the MSI GeForce 27 Super was not $900. It was more like 600. I'm not sure why the price went up. But anyway, this is my setup and I will leave the links to this exact setup in the description. Now the next one I wanna go over is a budget $780, $780 build. Um, actually, sorry, the next one I'm gonna go is the under $1,000 build, but this one includes the monitor. Now this is gonna be the, the budget build for $1,000, but it will guarantee that you will get 240 frames in Fortnite in, along with 240 Hertz monitor. So a lot of people say settle for 144 Hertz. I disagree. I went from 60 Hertz to 185. And then when I switched from 185 to 240, I did notice a difference. And the 240 really does make a difference. And I think nobody should settle for 144 Hertz. So this is the setup I have here. Now, the I the this setup is not only cheap, but it's also really easy to upgrade. So it uses the MSI Z390 motherboard. So the first thing I did was make sure I got decently fast RAM. So you get 3,600 megahertz RAM, but you can always upgrade that, right? So that's the whole important thing. You should, you should be able to upgrade your setup. So the reason why I chose this motherboard, it's the Z390 chipset, which goes along with the i5, again, which you can always upgrade. And it goes with really fast memory. So this motherboard, MSI is really good at motherboards, so I would highly, highly recommend this one. Now I matched it, like I said, with two eight gig sticks of RAM, 3600 megahertz. This'll be more than enough RAM. Now you wanna make sure you have fast RAM because when you get past the 200 to 20 FPS, RAM is really what bottlenecks you down. Now the SSD, I did decide to go with the M.2. First of all, because this motherboard supports it, M.2 SSDs are faster than the normal than SATA SSDs, and again, when you're playing Fortnite, you don't want any, you don't want any stutters, and M.2 is going to make sure that any shaders or any textures that your computer has to pull from your hard drive is not going to bottleneck anything. Right now, with a video card, you might think that this is not going to be able to perform at 240 FPS, but if you go on YouTube and look up GTX 1650 benchmark Fortnite, you will notice that the guy has no problem pushing over 200 to 20 FPS, right? And the other thing is, you can if you're getting bottlenecked and you don't get that 240 FPS, you can easily just lower the resolution from 1920 by 1080 to, I believe, 1680, but just lower the resolution slightly. It's not gonna change your FOV, but it will give you that push that you need to go past 240. Now again, for me, I don't think anybody should settle for 144 hertz when you can get, you should spend that extra money on the monitor. So here we're only spending 170 on the graphics card, 
and we're spending a little extra on this 240 hertz monitor which is definitely definitely worth it guys now with this thing i did go with a cooler because the i5 gets um the stock coolers i found are never never en enough now the i5 even though it's 3.7 gigahertz goes way up to 4.6 which is really really good now the other thing is games like fortnite that run using the unreal engine can only really utilize two threads. So there's no need to get an i9 or an i7, which has eight 16 threads, because the game will only be able to utilize two threads. That's why it's really important if you wanna get a good gaming PC, look at that single core frequency. So here, the single core frequency is 3.7 gigahertz, but really it's 4.6. So that's what's important. This number is, is what's important. The other thing is you can also overclock this i5 to 4.7, 4.8, and you can do that because of the cooler. This is really important to get this cooler. This is a really cheap $40 cooler, the Hyper 212 RGB. It looks awesome, right? And it really, when your CPU is not getting cooled well enough, like if you have a stock cooler, um, it's not. It's, it's going to be your windows will throttle the CPU, so you're gonna be having problems. You wanna make sure that cooling is is done pretty good. And especially with the RAM and the graphics card all sitting close by together, you gotta make sure, you want to make sure you have good cooling. Now the power supply, we did skimp a little bit on that one, but remember, you can always upgrade. The beautiful thing about this setup is you can upgrade this setup to my current build. So you could upgrade the RAM to this one, to 4,000 megahertz RAM, you could upgrade the graphics card to a 2070 Super or even a 30 series, upgrade the power supply and anything else. So it's really good for upgrading your system and it's about a thousand dollars. So you can, if you have a thousand bucks to get this, this will give you like the bare minimum and Fortnite will be able to run at 240 and down along the line, you will be able to upgrade it. Now the i5, this processor will last you for four to five years, guaranteed. It will last you for a long, long time. My previous processor was i7 4790K, and that was literally like a six year old processor. So, this setup, especially if you upgrade it right, like if you just upgrade the RAM and maybe the graphics card, it will last you for many, many years and it'll be able to push games at high FPS for many years to come. Now, the other setup I'm going to show you guys, this is a slightly more expensive but the only difference here is we just got a bit of better processor um and we got a uh, better ram so you can go with a really high-end ram but really i think this is the setup that the best budget setup for fortnite if you're looking to get 240 fps and hertz for a thousand dollars so i don't think you get any better than this so if you guys are looking for a pc um let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or comments about this, but I took quite some time to pick up all the parts and this, I came down to, this is probably the best bang for your buck for Fortnite. Um, even though the graphics card seems like it's kind of, it's just um, a two generation old graphics card, right? But the 1650 is like, think of it as the 2650, uh, right? Or 2660. But the 1650 runs perfectly fine. It'll run Fortnite at 240 hertz, especially when you don't have bottleneck of a CPU or RAM. Once those two bottlenecks are gone, a graphics card is actually can do pretty, pretty well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. I'll make sure to get back to you. Need for Beans, out. Peace!